It's mid-May, it's very hot outside, we're approaching the hundreds, and I still have citrus to pick. It's not because I've been slacking, but because this is a Valencia orange. More specifically, it's a Campbell Valencia, but I don't think that sub variety is going to make much difference in what I have to say today. The Valencia orange name is inspired by the Spanish city of Valencia, but it actually doesn't originate there. It was introduced to the U.S. by Southern California, and I've read two different stories, one that it started there as a hybrid in the 1800s, and then another one that it was imported from a different place. But regardless, uh, from Southern California, it spread to other parts of the, the U.S., like Arizona and Florida, and today is one of the more popular juicing oranges. What differentiates Valencia oranges from other citrus is its ripening time. Most citrus will ripen between, say, December and March. You'll have early and late season varieties within that. But the Valencia is even after that. So let's say from maybe March or April to June or July. And the exact time window will depend on your local climate, where the warmer climates will be slightly earlier and the cooler climates will be a little later. And this is a great way to extend your season by, say, three months. Uh, this tree will bloom for me in about late March, early April, and at that time it's covered with nice white flowers that smell fantastic. And I will leave the fruit from last season, obviously because it won't be quite ready at that time. I'd prefer to pick it closer to the summer. And uh, now it's actually full of the last year's fruit and the new crop has already set for, for next year. So let's pick a few of these and see what they look like on the inside. Here's some of the Valencia oranges that I've picked today. The fruit size is medium to large. Now there will be some smaller pieces, but for the most part, they're going to be about this size. Fortunately, this time of year, I don't have any other citrus to compare them to. So you'll just have to judge by the size in my hand. The fruit has a very solid feel to it. It has a good weight and it's also firm to the touch. So if I squeeze on it, it doesn't yield at all. And I bet this would actually ship very well the color is for the most part orange, but you may see a little bit of re-greening. Let me find one that exhibits it a little bit more. I think this guy here. Yeah, so you can see as I turn it around, there are some greener spots on it. Oranges get their orange color in the winter because of falling temperatures. And late season oranges, and Valencia being the extreme example of that, are prone to turning green again as the temperatures rise. So considering that we've been consistently in the 90s and even maybe a day or two hitting 100, uh, this isn't bad at all. There's only on a few of them. Now the regreening doesn't actually mean that there's anything wrong with the fruit. Uh, it still tastes fine and, and holds up well. It's just a color change and you know while it might not sell very well in the supermarket, we don't care about that in the home garden. Let me cut one open here so you can see a cross section. I always have to be careful doing this through the through the camera. Okay. So I've got one here. Uh, you can see it's a beautiful orange inside and this one has maybe one seed. I'd say that for the most part I see, you know, three, four, maybe five seeds in the oranges. So maybe uh, this one's uh, got a little less than that. It is possible to peel these and I'll bring one here closer to the, uh, to the camera. Uh, my go-to method for peeling citrus is cutting the top and bottom and then scoring the sides to basically allow me to peel uh, the slices. And this one is uh, you know, a little more difficult than most citrus to peel. Uh, so for that reason, I usually uh, don't don't do this. Uh, but it is it is possible, and you can actually taste it um, and eat it fresh. But I don't I don't uh, think the Valencia is good for that. The uh, flesh is a little tougher and maybe a little more fibrous than some other orange varieties. So for me, the way to go for for the Valencia is really juicing. So I just got done juicing like, I don't know, a gallon and a half, maybe almost two gallons of 
orange juice and I have a little glass here. Uh, you can see the color is just a beautiful uh, orange color, medium, medium darkness. If you have a lot of citrus to juice, do yourself a favor and get a press juicer. I used it in my Tangelo video and if you haven't seen that you can check it out. That's another great variety for juicing. Uh, the press juicer will make clean work of juicing, you know, dozens of pieces of fruit. And it also helps with ones that have seeds because it's less prone to clogging the, uh, the juicer. So let me try this and give you a description. For me, this is about as good as orange juice gets. It is a very sweet juice. It doesn't have a lot of acidity to it. It also doesn't have that uh, same tang as the tangelo. So I, I find this uh, I find this taste to be very good. So in summary, if you're looking for an orange that will extend your season, so being able to pick fruit into the spring and summer, and also a orange that's perfect for juicing, I would recommend the Valencia for that. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for watching.